Hey, good evening, everybody. It's me, Nisi. Um, you see me as I am right now on camera. Yeah, I just got off from work too not not too long ago. Had dinner, and I got a special delivery in today. Right, so I've been trying to <clears throat> must back up. So what I've been trying to do is all of my pretty much all my life I've struggled with my weight. Right. <clears throat> I've gotten down really small. The most I've ever lost was 89 pounds. And it took me almost a year to do that. Um, so I've lost anywhere between 30 to 89 pounds consistently over and over again in my life. Truth is, I have used diet pills. Um, I've done a tummy tuck. I've done um, mm, fat melting with the machines, equipment, so much expensive stuff. I mean thousands of dollars and stuff and um, end up gaining it back. <clears throat> so I've struggled with my weight all my, all my life. Right. So in this time frame, what I'm dealing with is menopause and hormones and, and that's normal, right? Cause that's, you know, I've had my kids, I had a partial hysterectomy. And so um, I've done allergy testing, right? Went to a nature natural path. And, um, so allergy testing, me metabolic testing, <clears throat> and also, um, what I think that I might do with sister from another mister in Florida is doing what's called leap testing, L E A P. I might eventually try that, but for me right now, I'm going to do what the doctor suggested <clears throat> about a year and a half ago during COVID, right? Um, I went through the whole process of uh, getting all these tests ran. Of course, I do get the IV drips uh, <clears throat> to keep me healthy and well during that sickness, the crown virus sickness. So um, <clears throat> I didn't take the happy sauce injections. I can't because if you guys know, well, some of you probably don't know because you're probably, I'm probably going to upload this video on YouTube so you don't know me that well. Some of you don't, but, um, I died. I came back. Um, I had gotten a jab when I was young and I stayed in the hospital about 10 days and that was a traumatic experience for me. And after I had that <clears throat> done, they gave me a waiver. I never got a shot again. Sad to say my uh, aunt at the time <clears throat> was keeping me and had, I guess, custodial rights with me or whatever didn't sue the vaccine companies and and back then in the 70s she probably would have walked away with a good little lump sum didn't do that but um what they did do is they did monitor me throughout the rest of my freaking childhood when I went to the doctors and I had people from the vaccine company come out and talk to me and do um work blood work on me so don't know what that was about I just remember as a child right my point is is that <sighs> Now, instead of me taking diet pills, which I know will work, <laughs> they're not good for me, right? I want to do it the hard way. And so what I'm going to do now is do what's called a blood type diet. Or I don't even want to call it a diet. It's more of a, um, a lifestyle change, right? Of course, I got to exercise, but... I'm going to have to not eat certain foods now, right? Based on my blood type. Now, typically the adoptionous beings here in the United States are type O blood, right? Um, because of my heritage and because of the, the several different races within my family, my grandfather was, was uh, white. He was English. He was from Staffordshire, England. And he married my grandmother who was um, Cherokee and, um, you know, people want to say black, but no, she was Cherokee. She had long, shiny black hair. I have pictures of her where she posed and her hair was literally hanging off the chair. I was like, oh my God, she's beautiful. Um, anyway, long story short, um, my blood type is A, right? So I got this list in today <laughs> and I'm sharing this personal information because I wanted to help someone else in their journey, right? Just in case you decide to do this, you need to know what your blood type is. Of course, you need to consult with your doctor. I consulted with my naturopath and he gave me this list and then recommended a book and it's by Dr. D. Adamo, 
A-D-A-M-O. I am a type A person, which basically means, and I'm going to read this to you because I'm sharing this information and knowledge and love, right? Um, the connection between blood type and diet is a new idea for many people but they often find that it answers some of the most perplexing questions. We have long realized that there was a missing link in our comprehensive comprehension of the process that leads either to the path of wellness or to the path of dis dis-ease, dis-ease in your body, which is disease. Um, there had to be a reason why there were so many paradoxes in dietary studies in disease survival. Blood type analysis has given us a way to explain those paradoxes. Blood types are as fundamental as creation itself. And it says, your blood type is the key in your body's entire immune system, which we know is in the gut, right? And such, as such, is the essential defining factor in your health profile. Your blood type antigen serves as the guardian at the gate, creating antibodies to ward off dangerous interloopers. When an antibody encounters the antigen or a micro, micro, microbial, microbial invader, microbial invader, a reaction called agglutination, agglutination, literally gluing, occurs. The antibody attaches to the viral antigens and makes it very, very sticky, right? When cells, viruses, parasites, bacteria are agglutinated, agglutinated, sorry, they stick together and clump, which makes the job of their disposal all the easier, you would think, right? But there's much more to the agglutination story. Scientists have learned that many foods agglutinate the cells of certain blood types, but not others, meaning that a food that may be harmful to the cells of one blood type may be beneficial to cells of another blood type. So in other words, I can't, I mean, we've been doing it all this time and we, we haven't done the wiser, especially us being orthotonous, right? Um, typically, orthotonous people type O can eat meat, but um, it's not recommended for us as being indigenous people to eat meat, period. We're supposed to be eating fruits and vegetables, beans, herbs, nuts, you know, plant-based diet, right? There's certain plants we can't eat. And now I'm finding out, I'm like looking at the list of all the stuff that I love. So this is a rant right now. Okay. I'm getting on here. I'm ranting all the shit that I love to eat. I can't eat no more. Oh my God. My diet's bland. So I made a joke to my husband. I said, that's the white people in me. I can't eat stuff that I love to eat now. <laughs> Literally, it's coming out in my blood. <laughs> anyway, no pun intended. I love all races, but I just had to throw that out there. It's just like, yeah, I'm a white girl for sure now. <laughs> I can't eat a lot of, oh my God, I'm going to get to that part. Just wait, just hold this. And, and I'm saying it's in love, you guys, because it's really, it's really, excuse my language, it's fucking me up right now because I can't eat the shit that I love. The one thing I was like, oh my God, I threw the book across the thing. Kind of said, I said, just kill me now, Lord. Just take me up and take the ghost from me now, God, because I can't have crawfish, shrimp, lobster, crab. Oh my God, I love that. I can't have sea bass. I mean, I can't have catfish. I I can't eat oysters. Um, oh my God. Any kind of shellfish. I just, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Oysters, mussels. I can eat snails. Yeah. I never had a snail before. Can't eat frog legs. I, I just, it's just a whole list of shit I can't eat. And it's like, I can't eat that cabbage. I can't eat that tomatoes, which is a nightshade, right? I can't eat tomatoes. I can't eat tomatoes, y'all. I can't eat eggplant. <laughs> it's just, I'm like tripping because. It's like I eat tomatoes and cucumbers and onions all the time. I can't eat nightshades. All right, I'm going to stop bitching. Let me keep reading. Your blood type is the key to your body's entire immune system and is such the essential defining factor in your health. Um, a, chemical, a chemical reaction occurs between your blood and the foods that you eat. This reaction is part of your genetic inheritance. We know this because of a factor called lectins. Lectins, abundant and diverse proteins found in foods, have agglutinating, and I'm tearing up that word, agglutinating properties 
that affect your blood. Lectins are a powerful way for organisms in nature to attach themselves to organisms in nature. Often the lectins used by the viruses or bacteria can be blood type specific making them a stickier pest for a person of that blood type. Furthermore, when you eat a food containing protein lectins that are incompatible with your blood type antigen, the lectins target an organ or a bodily system like your kidneys, your liver, your brain, your stomach, <laughs> and begin to agglutinate, uh, agglutinate, agglutinate blood cells in that area. For example, the lectin in lima beans cross-reacts with a type A antigen targeting digestive enzymes and interfering with the insulin production. Your gut microbiome is like an ecological community, hosting up to a thousand species of bacteria, both friendly and unfriendly. Because your blood type antigens are prominent in your digestive tract, many of these bacteria use a blood type molecule as their preferred food supply. Almost half of your intestinal bacteria show some blood type specificity. Specificity. I said that word right. It's another good reason to eat right for your type. Encourage the growth of your healthy bacteria. That's true. So with me changing my diet now, getting rich, because I'm going to eat up all the rest of the stuff I got in here. Like I can't have coconut milk anymore. And I put that in my coffee. Like I can't have black teas. I can't have that anymore. The type A diet is a way to restore the natural protective functions of your immune system, reset your metabolic clock, and support the health of your microbiome. It is simple to understand and follow. Whether your goal is to lose weight, improve a health condition, or just feel better and more energetic than ever, I, commit, I, I am confident you will benefit from your type A diet. So, <laughs> here's the thing. Mm -mm -mm. Type A to get your foods in a natural state as possible. Fresh, pure, organic. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that because I've been doing that anyway. If you follow the type A diet, you can supercharge your immunity system and potentially short circuit the development of life threatening diseases. Um, a positive aspect of your genetic ancestry is your ability to utilize the best nature has to offer. Within each group, food is divided into three categories highly beneficial, neutral, and shit to avoid. <laughs> I just put the shit in there, but it's like in all caps avoid, like a flashing sign in red avoid. Think of the categories this way. Highly beneficial is a food that acts like medicine. Avoid is a food that acts like a poison. <laughs> Neutral is a food that acts like a food. Okay? <sighs> Type A diet includes a wide variety of foods, so don't worry about limitations. When possible, show preference for the highly beneficial foods over the neutral foods. But feel free to enjoy the neutral foods that suit you. They won't harm you, and they contain nutrients that are necessary for a balanced diet. At the top of the food category, you will see a chart that looks something like the one that's noted in frequency, and sometimes weekly, sometimes daily. All right, now y'all ready for this one? Here's the meat one. <laughs> all right. Type A should eliminate all meats from the diet. <laughs> it's in caps, all meats. <laughs> Begin by substituting fish for meat several times a week. When you do eat meat, choose poultry over red meat. Prepare it by broiling or baking. Stay away from processed meats like ham, frankfurters, hot dogs, cold cuts. Oh, I love cold cuts. I love cold cut sandwiches. And I do like ham. I don't eat pork that often, but I love bacon when I do eat it. I don't eat it very often. Um, they contain nitrates, which promote stomach cancer in people with low levels of stomach acid. A type A person, which means that's a type A trait. That's why my tummy, ha ha you know, when I eat certain things, I get heartburn really bad. And I was like, oh, it's just old age. No, it's because of my blood type too. It could be old age, but it's because of my blood type. So check this out. Avoid. <laughs> a list y'all I'm just I'm venting I gotta be on there because I most people don't know this this is crazy I've been on it for a couple of years but I'm just like I've been kicking and scratching like fighting like you know how somebody's pulling you down the street and your little kid and you want to go one direction you crying and your mama or your daddy or your pappy your mammy's pulling you down the street going get your ass in here that's how I feel right now because <laughs> I, I have to make myself I just I can't do it anymore so it says here's what I gotta avoid bear meat <laughs> 
No, he bury me in god dang it way. Beef, beef heart, beef liver, beef tongue, bone soup. I love pho or bone broth. Oh my god. <laughs> Buffalo bison, calf liver, caribou, duck, duck liver, venison, moose, mutton, possum, lamb, morrow soup, bone marrow. Kangaroo. I never had a kangaroo in my life. Horse. I've never eaten a horse because I've owned horses, so I don't believe in that. Ham. Goose liver. Goose and goat. Partridge. Pheasant. Pork and bacon. <laughs> Quail. Rabbit. Squirrel. Sweetbreads. Turtle. Veal. Venison. <laughs> Shit, I can't have this neutral. It's like four or eight things. Chicken liver. Chicken hen. Grouse or grouse. Not goose, but goose. Guinea hen, ostrich, squab, and turkey. Chicken. That's it. And chicken ain't good for us. <sighs> Fuck. Here's the, here's the killing part. That's why I made this video. Type A can eat seafood in modest quantity two or three times a week. Many varieties of fish are rich in the omega-3 fatty acids. Me and Val were talking about the difference between omega-3 and omega-6. Val, if you see this video, chime in because... I believe you said omega-6 is when it's absent. That typically means that the cancer spreads or the cancer comes back. We were talking about that. And, I, and I'll, I'll bring that up more because um, James Destroys Disease has a good series on cancer and how he, he, how he beat his cancer. And he didn't take chemo. And there's, there's plenty of people out there have done that where they do the plants and the natural healing with the different types of water that they drink. And just pretty much completely, like, literally, it's it's a raw diet. Literally. When you have, like, leukemia and cancer and stuff like that, it you really got to, it's like nothing. You literally, it's like water. <laughs> um, here it is. Here's what I wanted to share. Consider introducing snails into your diet. I eat mussels and oysters. So I've never had a snail. The edible snail helix um, pomacea contains a powerful lectin that specifically agglutinates and is drawn to mutated type A cells for two of the most common forms of breast cancer. This is a positive kind of agglutination. This lectin gets rid of the sick cells. So if you're a type A and you've got breast cancer, most people don't know you can eat that. I'm just saying. They don't share this shit. All right. Y'all ready to hear this shit? I got this and I got highlighted this in my book. <laughs> I got put. Wait a minute. Y'all my witness. I ain't gonna make this video long. Pink tabs for the shit I got on void. This is going in my purse. Oh my God. So when I'm out, so I don't really go out that much. But when I'm out to a restaurant, I'm going to be looking at the menu and looking at this thing going, damn, I can't eat shit. <laughs> Here it is. Avoid anchovies. I love pineapples and anchovies on my pizza, man. I can't have that no more. Clams. Concha. Crab. Crawfish. Eel. Flounder. Catfish. Bluefish. Bass. Barracuda. Caviar. Which caviar is okay. Mm, it's all right. Frog. Oh, tastes like chicken. Oyster, salmon, smoked, scallops. Oh my God, I love scallops. Scup, shad, shrimp, skate, sole, squid, calamari. I love fucking squid and calamari. Bluegill, tillfish, opal eye fish. Oct I love octopus. Oh, lobsters. I just had that. Herring. Harvest fish, halibut, hikey, haddock, grouper. I love grouper. <sighs> and it says, that's the, that's, the, that's the meat. That's what to avoid. Type A choices. A type A can tolerate small amounts of fermented dairy products, but should avoid anything made with whole milk, which I'm lactose intolerant anyway, but it really just shores it up for me. And also limit egg consumption to occasionally organically grown eggs. If you are a type A allergy sufferer of experiencing respiratory problems, because I'd be coughing up at phlegm now, like 
like uh, Red Wolf was talking about, be aware that dairy products greatly increase the amount of mucus you secrete, which I already knew that part from Dr. Sabian, even before that, my doctor told me years ago. Uh, highly beneficial cheese. I have never heard of this cheese before. It's called Romanian Erda. Yeah, Erda. R-U-D-A. And Pecariano cheese. Mm. I can have feta cheese and ghee, mozzarella, ricotta, sour cream and yogurt, quark cheese, paneer cheese, kefir, manchago cheese, goat cheese, and milk. Mm. I've never had goat cheese before, but I guess I'm going to try it. Huh, here's the list of the void. American cheese, blue cheese, butter, half and half cream, ice cream, cheddar cheese, Colby cheese, cottage cheese, cream cheese, Gouda cheese, string cheese, Munster cheese, all the shit I be eating. Oils and fats. I can have black currant seed oil. Highly beneficial for me. Oh, um, I do have that. Olive oil, Kamina, flaxseed, and walnut. Avoid castor oil. Damn. I just took my castor oil pills because it's a full moon and I'm doing a parasite cleanse. Um... Coconut oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, hazelnut, lard, margarine, palm oil, and peanut oil. On Asian dishes, they usually mix peanut oil. I can't have that. And um, I have coconut oil that I take. But you know what? I'm going to finish it. Now I'm not going not gonna to eat anymore. Um, it says type A eats very little animal protein, nuts, and seeds. Supply an important protein counterpart in your diet. Walnuts and pumpkin seeds are particularly beneficial. Also eat peanuts often because they contain a cancer fighting lectin. Also eat the peanut skins, the skins, not the shells. If you have gallbladder problems, limit yourself to small amounts of nut butters instead of whole nuts. I don't have a gallbladder. Um... Avoid Brazilian nut, cashews, cashew butter, and pistachios. I'm allergic to those. I'm typically allergic to a lot of nuts. Almonds I can eat, but I have to take a pop of Benadryl. I've been drinking almond milk and um, coconut, but now I'm, I'm a, I bought a bunch of it. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off, and I'm not going to buy it anymore. I'm not going to eat it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You guys, it's just, it's like I'm, I'm going to bed going, what the fuck? That makes a whole lot of sense why my stomach be messing up with me sometimes. Um, and I can't have chickpeas, y'all. Kidney beans, lima beans, navy beans, tamarind, copper bean, or garbanzo beans. Cannot have. And I, I, I make a mean chickpea burger. And there are certain uh, mushrooms I cannot eat either. Fuck, man. Yeah. Um... Let me go to that, and I'm going to jump off here. There is a list of grains and cereals, coffees and teas and beverages. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Fruits to avoid. There's only about 10 of them that I can't have, which is ones in my fridge right now. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm like, I'm like diet. I had to make this video because y'all understand how this is killing me. I know I, I'm, I want to have good health and I have to do it. So I just have to go in here and bitch because I'm like, really? Because I, I could just slam my head against this, this $4,000 desk that I got right here. I could just slam my head into this desk and just like, boom, because... It makes so much sense now why my stomach feels the way it does and I have so much digestion problems. It makes perfect sense now. It's all coming together. See, you pray for a thing, you ask for knowledge, you get it. I can't have bananas. I love bananas. <clears throat> can't have them. <laughs> my honeydew melon. I can't have it. Orange, papayas, plantains, tangerines, mangoes. I love all that shit. I can't eat it. Not with my blood type. I may, you know, it says avoid. It's like these foods are like poison to my blood type. Mm -mm -mm. There's a list of shit that I can't have that's neutral. What's highly beneficial for me is jackfruit, lemons, limes, pawpaw, pineapple, plum, prunes, figs, grapefruit, cranberry, cherry, boysenberry, blueberry, blackberry, apricot. Those are very good for my blood type. Neutral would be like um, watermelon, strawberry, raspberry it's good raisin oh dates dewberry peaches passion fruit pear parsimian pomegranate guava which is still cool okay so 
I'm good on that. I'm just like shaking my damn head. Okay, shit to avoid. Beer. Which, uh, corn soaked tea. Distill liquor. <laughs> I don't really drink that much, but when I do, I got a nice bar with some expensive liquor. Fuck. Gonna drink it and finish it. Not gonna buy it no more. Coconut milk. Can't have that. I bought a bunch. Papaya juice. Rhubarb tea. Seltzer water. Sodas like colas and diet colas. Tangerine juice, tomato juice, and yellow dock tea. Sodas I do drink every now and then. I don't drink them all the time, but I do drink sodas. I'm stopping that shit. Coconut milk. Damn. That's what I put in my coffee. I'm just like really tripping right now. I am really tripping. I can have garlic and fennel, but I know garlic is acidic, so I have to wash that. Ginger, parsley, turmeric, and horseradish is very beneficial for my blood type. The stuff I got to stay away from, sea salt, sage, saffron, savoy, sienna, tarragon, thyme, vanilla, and spearmint. Oh, wait, no, no. I, I take that back. I can have those. What I can't have, oh my God, is wintergreen, chili powder, pepper, black cayenne, peppercorn, and white pepper. I can't have no pepper. <laughs> it's like poison. It says to avoid because it's like poison to me. It's fucking up my body. I'm just like tripping. Okay, avoid. MSG, we all know that. Mustard with vinegar and wheat. Pickle relish. I make that with my potato salad and my deviled eggs. Can't have ketchup. Can't have mayonnaise. I can't have gelatin, aspartame, um, the acai gum, arabic gum, tamarind. I can't have that. Vinegar, all types except yumbalashi plum, Worcestershire sauce. I love Worcestershire sauce. And vinegar, I eat that with my cucumber, tomatoes, and salt and pepper. I can't eat that. I can't have the nightshade, and I can't have vinegar. No apple cider vinegar for me. Well, it didn't say apple cider. It said vinegar, all types except. Okay, well, I can't have vinegar either. Fuck. This is some bullshit. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Y'all might as well just, somebody just take me out. Take me out. <sighs> Type A supplemental. Your goal for supplements are used to strengthen your immune system, supply cancer-fighting antioxidants, balance your microbiome, and improve your cardiovascular function. So I know what I got to do. So yeah, I want to jump on here. I ain't going to make this long, man. I just And, and it gives you um, like different types of things that I can take for coughs, cramps, congestion, constipation, diarrhea, arthritis, um, earaches, fever, flu, headaches, chamomile, and feverfew, valerian, and white willow bark for headaches, um, and ingestion and heartburn. Bladder rack, bromelain, gentian, ginger, golden seal, and peppermint, which I knew that. Jamaica dogwood for menstrual cramps, which I don't get anymore. Nausea, ginger, and licorice root, which I knew. Licorice root is also good for menopause. Symptoms. The black cohosh and, and menopause. Um, black cohosh and li black... Licorice, the licorice root and black cohosh is good for menopause symptoms. Night sweats and stuff like that. Sinusitis, fenugreek, and thyme. Soy throat, fenugreek, and tea gargle. Golden seal root and sage tea gargle. And toothache, crushed garlic gum paste and all oil of cloves gum massage. And, you know, it just says here, you just need to phase it in. You just treat it. You, I mean, it's like you can't cut off everything, go cold turkey, but... Um, I can have tofu, and I don't like tofu. Um, I'm going to have to make sure I eat it. But there's different types of mushrooms that are out there, but I can only have like five mushrooms. Certain ones I can't have. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to vent, right? Share a little bit more personal information about me. But, um, yeah, it's my white side. Come at me. <laughs> it's not my thoughts on the side. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah.
It's a joke. It's a joke, people. It's a joke. But um, for real. Um, now I got to get the recipe book to with this. But yeah, it's in my tabs that I got here. It's going to go in my purse. I'm going to study it. Know what I can eat. Good thing is on my vegetable list, I've got quite a bit. Quite a bit. The seafood, like around my birthday, which... You know, I, I stopped celebrating a while back. I don't do birthdays and holidays and things like that. But it's my born into this avatar day. I typically don't work. This past year I did, though, because it was tax time and I'm doing tax returns. So it's around clothes, filing cycle. I can't take off. So, you know, I work from home, but still. Um, I typically, we typically do like a crawfish boil with all the family and come over, you know, kids and grandkids and everybody. And we usually do that. So now it's like, damn, I can't do the crawfish. I might do it one more time and that'll be it. If the creator of all sees fit for us. But crawfish, now they're saying this year is going to be $15.99 a pound. So I probably won't be doing it, motherfuckers anyway. <laughs> I ain't gonna pay no, I know damn well. We used to buy like four and five sacks for the family. And you know how much them sacks are if you're from Louisiana. Y'all know that. We used to go hard on that. And um, big, sh big prawns, you know, so we don't skimp when it comes to food, as you can tell, because my ass is fat. But um, yeah, I'm totally different now, you guys. I, you, you're seeing me go through this change, this metamorphosis right now. Cut all my hair off. My hair was long. Cut it all off. <laughs> now I got a short curly, my curly cues, and I did the blonde hair. And y'all might see me with red hair next week. I don't know. I might just keep the blonde a little bit. Um, cause you know, it, I can hide the gray. Yeah. But, um, and it's time for me to go get a haircut cause my hair was shorter. I took the scissors the other day and, cause I, I'm just like that. I'm one of those clients that just do shit and then call my stylist. Hey, Hey girl, uh, I got a hair emergency. <laughs> I'm one of those people call you in the middle of the night, blow up your phone, text you. Hey, can I come see you in the morning? Fuck my head up. <laughs> I'm one of those people. Um, yeah. So it's all in love, you guys. But you're seeing this change. You're seeing this metamorphosis. So if you see pictures on my Facebook and my profile pages of how I transitioned from there to now, it's like, wow. Some people are like, what the hell happened to her? She's going through something. I'm transforming. I really am. Um, and it's cool that you're going to see me slim down and you're going to see me. Because I have a picture of me with this haircut when I was 15. <laughs> and again, when I was like 19, right? Uh and I was like 18, I think, because I just graduated school out in Cali um, when my hair was super, super short. And if I do a side picture of that picture of back then, all three of me with short hair, you'll be like, oh, OK, I still look the same. I got wrinkles, more wrinkles, but we all age and it's a blessing. It's 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 supposed to be a beautiful thing transitioning. Correct. So I'm learning to embrace me. Right. So I had to cut all my shit off because I was going to do locks, right? I was going to do locks. And then I decided to wait on the locks and just rock my natural curls and let it grow out into a more curlier style that I want. But um, just keep it tapered in the back and stuff because my hair is super curly, as you can tell. I don't have anything on it. I just got up and got out of bed just like this all day. I've been working in my pajamas. <laughs> I didn't have to go on video today, so I'm, I'm good. I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to put on the suit and makeup today to go on video. At least suit up from the waist up. <laughs> the bottom, I better not get up because I have my Mickey Mouse pants on and my Mickey Mouse house shoes. <laughs> All right, that's TMI, you guys, too much. Um, yeah, I just want to share this to you. So check out eating for your blood type. Seriously. Uh, and check out LEAP testing, L-E-A-P. It is not covered by insurance, dude. It's not. It's not. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not covered by insurance. And when I went to the natural path, I spent two grand cash. Yeah, on my bill. And that was not including my supplements. So I'm just telling you that for you to eat healthy and to get in the process of going to someone, instead of going to a conventional doctor that writes synthetic scripts, and send you down this rabbit hole of all these different types of tests and putting you on these 50 different prescriptions every day. I don't believe in that. I'm not taking anything right now. I just have one prescription that I take when I can't breathe. That's it. That's that's for my my asthma. But even that, I'm 
at the point where I'm doing my Wim Hof breathing and stuff. And so I don't want to claim that shit. I, I got to lose the weight so that it won't affect my breathing, right? I mean, as we get older, we age and we do put on weight. And that's that's normal to a certain extent. But to be the size that I am, it's too big. So I have to do something about it. I'm taking it into my own hands and working with my healthcare professional. But like I was saying, these tests are not cheap and the doctor is not covered under insurance. So <coughs> I'm just saying, you might want to check it out and see. Just do your own research. Um, I would definitely tell you to go to a naturopath. But I can tell you just from experience and from my sister with another mister in Florida, they're going under the radar. They're flying under the radar because they were unaliving a lot of them in the past three years. You notice that they've dramatically went down a lot. And a lot of them aren't speaking out because of what's happened with the, you know, crown virus. So, um... They're um, really ostracizing people who are speaking out about the testing and just about all the things that shouldn't have took place that took place during this time where we lost a lot of our loved ones, right? Um, and I'm not bashing the medical community because I know a lot of my brothers and sisters work in that community, but I will tell you that they don't have our best interest at heart. So you have to take control of your health. And this is me starting to do that. Um, I think I've always been an advocate for that. It's just, I took the synthetic pill route and, you know, surgeries and things like that for vein and beauty. And, you know, I could have kept that money in the bank and bought me 150 acres. <laughs> I'm on an acre now. I'm just on an acre. But um, I could have bought way more than what I got just based on my hair and and fucking hair and uh, the vein surgeries. <laughs> Put it that way. Because those mommy makeovers and all that kind of stuff, that shit ain't cheap. So I'm just going to say, you know. Um, anyway, I'm just sharing some personal information with you all. You can see my transformation and my journey. Um, I can tell you that the water is a very important thing. Um, I am looking into getting a Keegan, K-A-G-A-N filter. I think they're like four grand. I was going to buy a tunnel, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm looking into getting that, uh, for the, for the, for the filter in the kitchen. I really need to, we really need to invest in a whole house system, but I don't know. I don't I don't think we're going to do that with solar. We've got to do the yard and we've got to do the fence and we got some crazy estimates on fencing and stuff like that. So we'll have to take it in stages, but we're running out of time as I know, as I listen to Red Wolf and other people that I know and I'm seeing stuff on the news when I do watch it. So my point is, is I need to get my ass in gear and this is my way of getting in gear. Once I deplete the, the resources that I have here at the house of the things that I'm not supposed to eat, I won't be buying them no more. And um, so you'll see a transformation. Uh, as I do my videos, you'll probably start seeing my face slim down. <laughs> and I don't want anybody to comment, damn girl, you look like you got freaking some kind of terminal disease. What's going on with you? I'm not eating shit. <laughs> type A, baby, type A. It's all type A. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Um, thank you for listening to my rant. Seriously. I just had to get this off my chest. It's going to go out there the internet world. Whoever sees it, sees it. Hell, I probably have some extraterrestrials, some aliens watching this shit at some point. <laughs> I always believe that. I always believe that. I know that we're not alone, right? I know there are intelligent life forms out there and they monitor everything that we're doing. And um, if they know who my son is, I'm sure they're watching me too. <laughs> my eldest son. <laughs> He's got like 40,000 followers, 38,000 followers, something like that. On a couple of those platforms, I'm just like, Jesus, once you get to 100,000, it's like, I'm not trying to get a big following. But you are getting a big following. That's the thing. You are. So whether you want it or not, you got it. Because he did the 40-day fast where he literally popped his pineal gland. And I really thought he was going to psychosis because of the, the symptoms that he was having, right? Like the sweats, the, the ringing in the ears, the... um. I mean, he lost a lot of freaking weight in 40 days. I was like, oh, my God. And then uh, he was walking around the circle grounding, and I was giving him um, minerals to take so he wouldn't completely waste away on me. And I was checking him. 
making sure that he was hydrating, right? And uh, he, he, he had a lot of wormwood. I gave him wormwood. And um, yeah, he, uh, he ran a fever. I mean, he went through a whole metamorphosis. I saw it for myself. And what the crazy thing was right at the, right at the end where his pineal popped and he sobbed the creator of all. On the other side, it's just like that DMT drip that you get, man. He was just psychedelics down, but he didn't take any psychedelics. It just happened after the fast. He reached nirvana and there was a freaking cloud, a storm coming in, right? And I kid you not, there was a damn cloud over the backyard, right over where he was walking. He had wore the grass down in a circle. He had rocks and he was wearing it down. I was like, what the hell are you doing to my grass? Um, Kid you not. Lightning kept striking all around the yard. And I'm like, is this an extraterrestrial spaceship? Or are we getting ready to get taken up? Uh, what's going to happen? <laughs> is Trump coming to get us in the space force? I mean, I got a shit. I was just, he was coding and writing these weird symbols. And he really had a breakthrough. And I, I'm, I'm not lying. I, I promise you not. The creator of all knows I'm not lying. It freaked me to shit out. But he got to the other side. And now he gets these clicks in his ears. He did this video and a lot of, there's some people, and I ain't gonna say a lot, the ones that do break through and decalcify their pineal and the DMT is flowing, the drip is flowing to the back of your throat in the land of milk and honey is what they call it. Um, people are getting these clicks in their ears. So if you ask a question to him, he'll put in his ear buds and it'll click. And he'll say, show me yes, click. Show me no, click, click. So one is yes, two is no. And you can ask questions and it's like, he's like, I'm not doing this. You can see I'm not doing this. And he's really not doing it. You put the phone down, I'm right there. I'm like, what the hell's happening with you? Funny thing is other people are starting to get the same symptoms is what I'm telling you. They all have the same symptoms. Like there's multiple people now that are getting the clicks. So either you're in or you're out. You know, we're in a dream. This is a, a sleepy time world is the aboriginals as our cultures tell us if you read the books. So my point is, is that, you know, I need to do what I need to do. I need to get to the other side. So I will, so I, when I die, I won't die, right? That's what I mean by that, falling back into the dream. Everybody has their own beliefs. Everybody has their own knowledge. Some of you may agree, some of you may not. I really don't care, but I'm just telling you what I've experienced and what I've seen with my own eyes. And it's not about what belief is is about knowing and this shit i do know this shit scared the shit out of me it scared the shit out of me and if you're going to do a fast that long you really do need to have someone medically there for you which is what i was there for him and uh, at one point i was thinking about taking him to the hospital but i didn't want to do that shit in the midst of everything that was going on with the crown virus so um i opted just to try to i hydrate him and uh I was at that point going to call somebody out to do an IV at, at the house for him, but he was fine. He he got through that, but he just ran a fever. It, when you're going through this purging for 40 days, literally your body is eating itself. You know, it's, 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 it's cleaning out all the toxins. And so you just really got to do your water intake, your mineral intake. And he was at the point where he wasn't doing anything. I was like, I have to make you eat. He's like, I'm not hungry. I don't have it no more. And I'm just like, you got to put some substance in your body, minerals at least minerals and water, you know? So anyway, that is a true story, you guys. And, um, uh, hopefully I can get to that one day, but I've got to start in baby steps. And this is my point of my baby steps is changing my diet. Right. And like I said, as soon as I, uh, deplete my resources here at the house, it's in both of my fridges out here in my deep freezers. Um, yeah, that's going to be a wrap for me. Anyway, thanks for joining me, you guys. I'm sorry I made this 44 minutes. I was just trying to really keep it at 20. But anyway, I'm glad you guys listened to me. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm positive, optimistic. I know I can do it. And I'm going to show you that I can do it. More importantly, I'm going to show myself. I know I can do it. I'm holding myself accountable. All right, you guys. Peace. Love y'all. Bye.